The first time that I sang overseas was in England. I appeared in Royal Festival Hall. And after I had opened my program and sang two songs, I realized that I had scheduled three songs, one after the other, three songs about geese. <laughs> Since we are on the same tack tonight, this afternoon, uh, we now approach uh, goose song number three. <laughs> goose song number three differs from goose song number one and goose song number two in that goose song number three is in two parts. My part and your part. <laughs> I will sing. There are two young ladies here, one two years old, the other four years old, who are friends of mine through records and now in reality and they want to hear the next song, which is a little bit of tear. One of them wants to hear a little bit of tear, the other wants to hear, it's my funny way of laughing. I'll do both of them together. I don't mean together, I mean one after the other. <laughs> That'll be a trick, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Legend had it that he had shaken hands with Abraham Lincoln. So he uh, listened to the song and he said, we must have that next week at the soldier's reunion. Of course, my mother said, no, she wouldn't think of that. He said, how about the lad? And I said, I'll do it. <laughs> and he said, if you will, I'll give you a dollar. Well, I'd heard of a dollar, but I hadn't rightly seen one. But I went into town and I sang a song at the old soldiers' reunion, and he gave me the dollar. I didn't know until later that the song that I sang, the first reference to it in history, was in Samuel Pepys' diary. And he referred to it as the ancient Scottish heir, Barbara Allen. I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hand and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon the golden apples of the sun. Thank you. Oh, 35, 40 years ago, I lived in New York, and I spent a great deal of time with writers, Carl Sandburg and McKinley Cantor, John Steinbeck, and um, they would get into wonderful discussions, and I would listen. I was a young fellow, and I didn't uh, th thought I better keep still until the singing started. And, and um, I remember some wonderful things there. They were discussing time once. Time is an interesting thing. I'll be 82, 81, 82, 99, oh, I've forgotten. You're getting up there when you forget. <laughs> you see, I think it's 80, it's 82. Sure enough, June the 14th, you know, he's I live here in Anacortes. I'm going to send you a little thing. <laughs> it's nice again. You know. 
You get older, you know, think about things like that. Well, anyway, this time thing reminded me. Omar Khayyam, he had a nice one about time. Omar said, come fill the cup and let the fire of spring, winter's garment, and in the fire of spring, winter's garment of repentance fling. The bird of time has but a little way to fly, and lo, the bird is on the wing. And then there's, it's not the gray in the hair that makes a man old, nor the faraway look in his eye, so I'm told. But when the mind makes a contract, the body can't fill, then you're over the hill, brother, you're over the hill. Thing for you. And I want to thank the hospital. I was there last year. Came out pretty good. They did a good job. Just little things like that, you know. If I hadn't been there, I might not be here. I would be elsewhere. elsewhere. There's the rub. Huh. Well, elsewhere. Um, I want to thank um, especially my wife, Dorothy, who uh, goes with me every place and sees that I get there. And without her, I couldn't make it. And I want a special thanks to her. And I'd like for her to come out here and say hello to you. And she said she might.